Hello, I'm Sheree Porter, creator of Wiccan Journeys. I've been going through YouTube and the internet and finding what are called vlogs, video vlogs, and I thought it might be kind of a fun thing to do that every Sunday to have BOS, Book of Shadows Sunday. So I'm going to go through my Book of Shadows every week and I'm going to read something from my book and kind of give you my thoughts on it now versus how I was feeling then and kind of the impact that it might have had on me at the time or how I think it might be able to help people now, etc. Um, some stuff is going to be, a Book of Shadows is a collection of rituals and notes from books or the internet or television or wherever you've read or something's inspired you about your spirituality. So first off today is going to be a note from 1998 when I first started reading and researching the religion of Wicca. Um, it is from True Magic by Amber K, which is a book that has just been revamped and republished actually a couple years ago by Llewellyn. Um, it starts off with the definition how she defines Wicca which it says, a beneficent and magical earth religion that celebrates the triple goddess of the moon and the horned god of nature, also called the old religion, the craft or witchcraft. Contrary to stereotypes, it has nothing to do with evil magic or Satanism, but focuses on healing and spiritual growth. I very much agreed and identified with that definition of Wicca. I, I have an introductory, like a what is Wicca to me video already posted on YouTube, but uh, yeah, I definitely, like I said, agreed with that. Wicca has been very important to me and a very important influence on my life. Also from True Magic by Amber Kay was the um, uh, photo of the banishing and invoking pentagrams, which you can use when you're calling quarters. Um, you, can, you can do invoking pentagram over the top of the candle when you're charging it for a spiritual purpose. Uh, the same thing banishing if you're doing a ritual where you've charged the candle to represent like a bad habit or anything like that and you want as the candle burns you want kind of that bad habit or or you know whatever it is that you want to banish out of your life you want it to go away you can put a banishing pentagram over that candle before you light it there's also in here my first listing of candle colors and their meanings candle magic is very important to me I I I'm an earth, earth is my main element. I'm a Capricorn, I was born January 15th. And I feel like physical representations are very important. I, I have notebooks where I write a lot of my, I write down my thoughts and feelings most of the time, but also I have certain smells that I identify with someone. And when I smell um, gray flannel cologne, boom, I think of my father. You know what I mean? And when I smell sage and lavender oil mixed together, boom, I think about when I was first Wiccan. Because, you know, once you have something over and over and over again that's solidified in your mind, that, you know, will take you to that. You know, it'll take you to that place when you smell it again. And it's the same thing like the candle colors. Certain colors mean things to us. And sometimes that's personally and some, you know, they have a vibrational frequency as well. There's been a lot of research done on that. There's a reason why schools and hospitals and mental health facilities are painted like those light pastel kind of colors. It's meant to like soothe and calm you. There, there's a reason why when we see red, whether it's red roses, red candles, you know what I mean, um, red lipstick, it evokes these, these passionate kind of feelings, you know, it's, that's, it's like a biological, chemical, mental response. And that's very true with, uh, with your candle choice too for your rituals. And it can be really helpful. It's not 100% necessary. I have a ridiculous amount of white candles and I use them all the time. But it still can definitely help with your, your mindset while you're doing the ritual. And definitely, if you're doing a ritual for banishment of a negative, you know, in your life, it can definitely do something to have that black candle, you know, go down into nothing. And I love that as well um, with candle magic, that you have a physical representation of how long you've been meditating on it, how long you've been chanting about it, etc. You're sitting there in front of your altar with a candle in front of you, you know, it's kind of a physical representation of power. Fire is definitely power, even if it's something as contained as a single flame. And I definitely, um, I, I love candles. <laughs> I am a little bit candle obsessed even. I have like a budget in my, in my month for candle purchases. <laughs> 
anyway, so that's Book of Shadows week one, a little bit from Amber K. And she's amazing. The book True Magic is really awesome. So I definitely recommend that you go out and grab that if you don't already own it because it's great. It's, I believe, also available as an ebook from Amazon.com. So check that out if you have an e-reader. Although I do like sometimes having the physical book just because it's easier to look something up. But once you put it in your Book of Shadows too, that makes it really easy to look it up. I have my Book of Shadows index in the back so that I know exactly what page to go to when I'm looking for something specific. So that can be helpful as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our first session of Book of Shadows Sunday and I will see you next week.